Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to My Decaying Mind in Quarantine by The Odd Ones Out. So, this is going to be about quarantine. Hmm, the most... Yeah, it's not like he's doing this to be relatable. I mean, yeah. It's obviously, this is going to be, oh, hashtag relatable. Like, the just implement the Sir Pello green screen. Wow, that was relatable. I, I feel like this is just going to be relatable. And that's it. I also feel like this could be funny, but at the same time, I feel like he's trying to hit the relatable check markers with this video. But yeah, anyways, guys, read links in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the Island Sound Links in the description. Anyways, let's get right into it now. Hello, everyone. It's me, James. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'm launching this card game called Cafe Chaos on Kickstarter today. Oh, Before yeah. The end of the video. What the hell was that? Bit. I actually made a card game, and I worked really hard on it, so please click the link in the description to get your... My name's Joe Exotic. I exploit dangerous wild animals for profit, and that's only the least reprehensible thing I've done. In this oh! docu-series, I'll show you the bad, the horrible, and downright disgusting aspects of what it's like to be a polyamorous, meth-addicted Tiger King. I'm the real Pokemon master, you hear? And just like that, by watching other garbage humans on his television, James felt ever so slightly at peace while the world crumbled around him. <laughs> has sucked a lot. I miss hanging out with friends. Oh, yeah. I miss going to non-essential businesses, and I miss wiping my butt with toilet paper instead of my dog. All I've had for company has been floof and my own. Okay, body. I mean, I feel like everybody's made that joke at this point. So it's been a little hard to stay motivated during this time. But if staying home instead of going Same. to Disneyland will save people's lives, then I guess no. I'll have to make that sacrifice. Screw Disney, honestly. It's so hard to be a good person. Some of the things that have been helping me mentally has been exercise, a positive mindset, and garbage television. I used to think that garbage television was stupid and a waste of my mortal existence. But as I started watching more garbage, I realized that I've already been fascinated and enjoyed watching garbage content. Okay, I'm years. guessing he's have calling that other YouTuber garbage I've when... I've in my conspiracy video that I... I love watching crazy people talk for hours. Now take those same people, give them a camera crew and a budget, and you got a brand new show on TLC. What's that? You've never heard of TLC, the learning channel? Well, <laughs> TLC is channel. full of wonderful programs and documentaries that'll teach you it's if not. you become trashy enough, you'll end up on TV. And that's what schools should be teaching. TLC, I've watched it. It's a terrible show. Sponsored by TLC, it's a terrible but show. But if they wanted to sponsor me, I'd say no. I just want to be on an episode of My Strange Addiction. I'll tell you what the addiction oh, is. Oh, yeah, like those, TLC. yeah. One show I've been unhealthily binging is called 90 Day Fiancé. It's about when a boy meets a girl, or a girl meets a girl, or a man meets a much younger girl online, and they sort of like each other, but they're from different countries, so when they meet each other, they have 90 days to decide if they want to get married before their visa expires. It's great that the internet exists so that these clearly desperate people in different countries even have the chance to form a relationship. And it's equally great that the internet exists so we can watch very personal moments of these strangers' lives. The show really shines with the most garbage oh. of couples. I've seen other YouTubers talk about this one specific couple, Big Ed and Rose. Oh, he yeah, these guys. But let's just say he saves a lot of money on scarves and turtle necks. He's a 54-year-old yeah, pursuing a relationship and wanting to marry a 23-year-old Filipino woman named Rose. And Ed has a daughter that's six years older than Rose. And he's older than Rose's father. Can you imagine for a second if your mom was six years younger than you? And on top of that, Ed is a huge liar. He lied about his height. He lied about wanting to have kids with her. He's also really mean to Rose. I mean, sure, he's old enough to be her father, so he's probably used to talking down to young people. And a dad telling their kids that their legs are hairy and their breath stinks is justifiable. But this is his girlfriend. At least make her a bag lunch first. Even if I thought <laughs> that Ed was the best guy in the world, do I think a relationship could work between people with a 31-year age gap? Well, let's take a look at the math. Here is oh, nice green screen. Age plus seven rule graphed out. So if you're 30, then it's socially acceptable to be dating someone who's 22. Now, obviously, this graph isn't set in stone. But for reference, here's Big Ed's age versus Rose's age. So when Ed was 40 and taking care of his 15-year-old daughter... Rose was nine. So do I think an age gap of 30... Oh, okay. Well, mathematically and common sense speaking, 
Not All right. Until 76 and Rose is 45. I think that'll take longer than 90 days, though. The second and third reason I love this show is David and Lana. I haven't seen any YouTubers talk about this couple, but they need to. Meet David, a 60-year-old guy from Vegas who's fallen head over wallet for a Ukrainian woman named Lana. He spent seven years and a quarter of a million US dollars on a relationship where he hasn't even met the other person. He's tried to meet up with Lana on three separate occasions already, but oh. he's up every single time. Now he's putting all of his credit cards on the table and is willing to risk it all he's on a sim. to the Ukraine to meet this a This man's a sim right here. Shima who doesn't speak English. Long story short, they meet after 13 episodes, David gives her a brand new iPhone X to text him on, Sam, only Sam, for him to get Sam, he's a Sam. because her nails were too long to text him back. Let me remind you that they were in contact for seven years. That's how old Rose was when Ed was 38. Me briefly describing these two's relationship just Why? now was so much of an emotional roller coaster that I don't even need to go back to theme parks anymore. It makes me want to puke, and I hope you can see why I love this show so much. I know that reality TV is fake, and who knows if this entire relationship was scripted and manufactured for the show, but I don't oh, yeah. care if it's fake. This smile is real. Watching oh! The <laughs> oh, fun or oh what the hell was that? Seem, believe it or not. Even though I spent a good portion of this video hyping up trash TV, you should also be doing What's something productive. Head? Like watching YouTube videos. <laughs> to compensate for all the garbage I watch, I've been exercising more. Right when the pandemic began its exponential spike, I bought a home gym machine and I've been working out three times a week with my friend DJ. DJ and I met because we're both- Yeah, I, I wish I had a treadmill. Honestly, I hate running out- videos, And one day oh. I noticed that DJ's muscles were a lot like one of my Japanese animes. He was a walking, breathing protagonist that my body oh, dysmorphia had God. been holding me back from becoming. I reached my skinny hands out to DJ and said, Hey DJ, can we work out together? So this is where I put the iPad to talk to DJ. Oh, hey, James. This is where I got the treadmill, the weights. Yeah, I wish I had a treadmill and also like this stuff like this. Here, so I don't bump my Because honestly, I, I hate the stuff we have because it's just a this stupid pull-up bar. Because like, it gets you know. very hot in this garage. This is what it used to look like a month ago. <laughs> anyway. The reason I started working out more seriously <laughs> right, nice was editing. because people were calling me skinny and other slanderous synonyms like slender and scrawny. And I told my friends that I was hurt by these Delgado. comments. But they all unanimously agreed that it, it's true. I am a slim gym. It's important to have a reason for working out. Delgado. Mine is self means slim DJ is forcing me to push myself. We've only been going for about three months, or a whole 90-day fiancé, and I've already gone from struggling <laughs> I knew to, he was gonna do something like to that. struggling to lift up this much weight. Sorry if I'm flexing too much on you. I'm just proud of my progress. The point is, while trash TV is fun, remember to mix in some productive activities during the day. For example, exercise. You don't need equipment. Do 10 push-ups right now, loser. Clean up after yourself. <laughs> During the hard times, keeping your space organized and oh, that's a body. be a oh. big boost on your mental health. Wear a face mask if you need to go out. Learn how to cook. You should also be eating healthy too. Stop eating so many <laughs> bagel bites. Watch parkour fails. Remind yourself how safe you are inside. These guys could get I mean, I... a broken tooth. Wear a face mask if you need to go out. Shave your head. Who cares anymore? Watch competitive sports fishing and get your blood pressure to rise so much that you feel pressured into working out again. And oh my god, how big is that fish? Oh my god, it's a 1,200 pound bull shark! They need seven people to pull it on the boat and oh my god, is that big Ed? And last but not least, check out my newest game on Kickstarter. Over the last year I've been- Yeah, people are hating him on chaos. on for that and I, I kind of see why. It's like, target other players and throw well, what, what, like what even is this? Moldy. Double deep fried couch cushion candy. Yeah, and frozen now this is just promoting his stupid card pencil. game. That's pickle. Right. I mean, that's my opinion. That's if you if you see why, if you think it's fine, like or if it's cool, then that's fine. I won't hate you. But to me, it, it just looks dumb. To choose from, but I also invited some friends of mine to join the fight. Their cards can be found in the animators pack. And you can see all the other packs over on my Kickstarter page. Some of these deals okay. will only Okay, yeah, wait, this is just promotion now. I'm gonna stop there. Uh, yeah, okay. So, honestly, this just seems like it was meant to promote his thing. And it definitely was. Because there was it was totally scattered throughout the entire video. Especially I noticed it on the table with when he was doing the graph thing. And... I mean, yeah, this is, 
Yeah, honestly, I don't know what this video was. I, I, I mean, personally, it wasn't bad. But again, I don't think it was good either, because it, it does seem like this was just made for promotion of his card game, and I, I don't, I personally don't want to buy it, because it doesn't look good in my opinion. I mean, it's fine if you like it, because everybody has their own opinion, and I respect people's opinions, but it's just, the thing is, is that, like, the whole quarantine thing, and then, again, as I said before, it's like, hashtag relatable, like, that whole thing, and that's, that's all I see in this video, is just promotion, and then just relatability going into this video, and that's all I see. I mean, there were some good jokes, I guess, but that's, that's, that's really it, honestly. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, and subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye!